Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue trapezoid A, B, C, D fully inscribed uh, in a semicircle uh, with a center O. As you can see in this given diagram, and as a result, we are ended up with this uh, green shaded region, this uh, tiny region, this uh, green shaded region, and this uh, green shaded region uh, as well. And moreover, uh, this uh, perpendicular uh, AD length is 4 units, whereas uh, this perpendicular uh, BC length uh, is uh, 8 units, and this uh, AB segment length uh, is uh, 12 units. And finally, this uh, PQ is the diameter of this uh, semicircle. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region, this uh, green shaded region, this uh, green shaded region, and this green shaded region combined uh, area. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And now since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, green shaded region, and now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, green shaded region area is going to be equal to the semicircle area minus uh, the area of the blue trapezoid. So therefore now our task is to calculate the area of the semicircle and the area of the trapezoid uh, as well before we could uh, calculate this uh, green shaded region area. So therefore, we are going to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, A, B, C, D first. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. It is always equal to the height H times uh, the sum of the bases A and B all over 2. And here uh, for this uh, trapezoid A, B, C, D, this uh, A, B is going to be our height uh, lowercase h. This uh, AD is going to be our base uh, lowercase a and this uh, BC is going to be our lowercase uh, b the base. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So our height is uh, 12 times a value is 4 plus b value is 8 all over 2. And here we can see 12 divided by 2 reduces to simply 6 and 4 plus 8 is going to give us uh, 12. So that is going to be equal to 72 square units. So thus the trapezoid ABCD area turns out to be 72. And now let's focus on this uh, center O. I'm going to connect this center O with these uh, vertices uh, C and D. As you can see in this uh, next step, and now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OC is the radius uh, of this semicircle. I'm going to label that one uh, as uh, lowercase r. And likewise, uh, OD is the radius as well. So this is going to be lowercase r as well. And furthermore, I'm going to label this uh, tiny segment uh, OB length uh, as uh, x. Then this uh, remaining segment uh, length uh, AO is going to be 12 minus uh, X is going to give us uh, 12 minus uh, X. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OBC. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. And here in our case our hypotenuse is our radius uh, lowercase r whereas our two other legs are uh, x uh, and 8. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x square plus uh, 8 square is going to be equal to r square. Let's simplify. We're going to get uh, x square plus uh, 64 equal to lowercase uh, r square. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number 1. And now we are going to focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, OAD. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well. And here is our Pythagorean theorem once again. A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case our uh, hypotenuse is lowercase r. Whereas our two other legs are 12 minus x uh, and 4. 
let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we got uh, 12 minus uh, x whole square plus uh, 4 square is going to be equal to lowercase r square and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as uh, a square minus 2 times ab plus uh, b square and I'm going to apply this identity on this uh, binomial so therefore this is going to give us uh, 144 minus uh, 24 times uh, x uh, plus uh, x square plus 16 is going to be equal to lowercase uh, r square and now we are going to combine the like terms and we can write as uh, x square minus 24 times uh, x plus uh, 160 is going to be equal to r square and I'm going to label this one as our equation number 2 and now we are ended up with these uh, two equations equation 1 and equation 2 and now we are going to compare these two equations and we can see our right hand sides uh, are uh, identical so therefore we can equate uh, the left hand sides uh, as well so therefore I could write uh, x square plus 64 is going to be equal to x square minus uh, 24 x uh, plus 160 and here we can see x square and x square they are uh, gone so therefore we are ended up with the 64 equal to negative 24x plus 160 and now I'm going to move this 24x on the left hand side and at the very same time I'm going to move this 64 in the opposite direction so therefore this is going to give us 24x equal to 160 minus 64 or simply 24 x is going to be equal to 96 and now we are going to divide both sides by 24 to isolate x this 24 and 24 is gone so therefore our x value simply turns out to be 4 and since our x value turns out to be equal to 4 so I'm going to substitute this uh, x equal to 4 value over here so therefore this equation 1 is going to become 4 square plus 64 is going to be equal to r square or simply 16 plus 64 equal to r square so therefore our r square value simply turns out to be 80 and now our task is to calculate the area of the semicircle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area is always equal to pi r square where lowercase r is the radius and since we are dealing with the semicircle so therefore the semicircle area is going to be equal to pi r square and I'm going to divide this one by 2 and we already figured out our r square value as 80 so I'm going to replace that r square value with 80 over here so therefore we can write this thing as pi divided by 2 times 80 and that is going to give us simply 40 times pi square units so the semicircle area simply turns out to be 40 times pi and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region and let's recall this equation once again the green shaded region area is going to be equal to the semicircle area minus uh, the trapezoid ABCD area and we already figured out our uh, semicircle area as 40 times pi and the trapezoid area as 72 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so our uh, semicircle area is 40 times uh, pi minus uh, trapezoid area is uh, 72 square uh, units the area of this green shaded region so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the green shaded region area turns out to be 40 pi minus 72 square units and that's going to be approximately equal to 53.664 square units as well and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.